Well, we are looking at a market rally as the White House economic leaders head back to Washington now after two days of trade negotiations in China. Connell McShane apparently is not on the plane. He's been left behind in Beijing. What can you tell us, Connell? <laughs> I'm never coming home, yeah. actually. They, uh, they were here for two days. Um, uh, basically, nothing concrete to announce is what we can tell you, that they just have an agreement to keep talking to two sides. China's just not willing at this point to bend to the more aggressive U.S. demands. Those demands, as we understand them, include calling on the Chinese to cut the trade deficit between the two countries by some $200 billion and get it cut by the end of the year 2020. A source close to the Chinese government told me that some of these demands that were laid out by the Americans here are unacceptable to China. The White House, meantime, issuing a statement earlier this afternoon, and in part it said the delegation held frank discussions with Chinese officials on rebalancing the United States-China bilateral economic relationship, improving China's protection of intellectual property, and identifying problems that unfairly enforce technology transfers, going on to say that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and the rest of the delegation on their way back now to brief the president and look for his decision on next steps. Now, as all of this drags on, it certainly has a business impact, and we confirmed in our reporting here that China has currently stopped buying U.S. soybeans. Take a listen. Right now, we're seeing a lull in orders for U.S. soybeans at a time when we would normally see pre-orders for fall delivery of U.S. soybeans. We're just not getting those uh, pre-harvest uh, bookings that we normally ha we, we, we've received in the last 10 years. All right, so the soybean market, actually, as you know, very important uh, to U.S. exporters. So unless China comes back online at some point, that's demand that really can't be made up elsewhere. It's such a big market. So that's where we are, uncertain. This is going certainly to drag on for a little while. Nothing was resolved here, not that it was expected to be, and the delegation's now on its way back. All right, Connell McShane, we'll try and get a ticket to you so you can come home for you and the crew, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> All right, Connell McShane in Beijing. Thank you, Connell.